my name is Joseph. Uh, so I'm from uh, the Composer team uh, uh, working at WSO2. Uh, so let me talk a bit about the graphical side of the ballerina. So so long you were taken through the textual uh, uh, notations and uh, how the language is. So uh, as we say, ballerina is a textual and a graphical language. So when we say that, uh, it's important to note that we give equal uh, importance uh, how the program is represented textually. Uh, that means like uh, how the source code is and how easy it is to understand the source code. And at the same time, we give the same importance uh, how the how a program can be represented graphically. So uh, it's important to note uh, we give equal import, uh, importance to both of these uh, aspects. So the immediate question is like uh, why a graphical language? Uh, what are the benefits uh, uh, of having uh, a graphical language? Uh, so let me take an example. So what you see here is a, 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 a Java program uh, which we use to do a, a simple network operation. So if someone to understand this, so they have to uh, read the source code if you're a uh, fluent uh, with Java, you should be able to understand it quite easily. And also you need to uh, know about the libraries uh, that you use to uh, implement this. So this is the same program uh, written in Ballerina. So as you can see, it's a lot less code uh, when it comes to uh, implementing a network uh, program. Uh, so even this, like uh, if you know Ballerina source, you should be able to understand it. Uh, quite easily uh, and this is the same program uh, represented uh, visually so the immediate advantage is like uh, you can easily explain what this program does uh, to a non-technical person so basically uh, if I explain this uh, as you can see uh, we have like two uh, endpoints uh, user API and employee API so basically we do a get call to the user API and then post the payload uh, to the employee API. So uh, having a graphical uh, representation uh, would make it easy to understand uh, complex uh, programs and especially with integration stuff, there's a lot of communication happening and uh, modeling it uh, onto a graphical uh, image would uh, make it easy for you to understand. So if you look at the diagram, so it uh, uh, consists of several uh, UI elements, uh, or we call them uh, graphical uh, syntax. Uh, so uh, let's uh, take a look at the gra uh, graphical syntax uh, of the ballerina language. Uh, yes. So what you see here is uh, how a, a function is represented uh, graphically. So you, as you can see, uh, function is represented by a frame. And uh, inside the frame, you have the default worker lifeline. So that uh, symbolize the, the function thread uh, that get executed. And also uh, on the header, you can see uh, the function parameters and the return types uh, uh, represented. So then uh, uh, we represent a statement uh, with a box on top of the worker lifeline. And um, so this is a block statement. Again, it's a, a, another frame on top of the worker lifeline. And as you can see, this is a, a if else statement. And you have the, uh, the condition uh, on the header of the, the if uh, frame. So uh, this is uh, how we symbolize uh, multiple workers. So for each execution uh, thread or the worker, we uh, draw a separate lifeline. And uh, these separate lifelines can have their own uh, statements. And uh, this is uh, how we uh, represent worker-to-worker uh, -worker communication. So as you can see, there's like uh, two statements. Uh, worker send statement and a receive statement. And we show the communication with a directed arrow uh, among the send and receive uh, statements. 
then uh, this is uh, how we represent an endpoint. So uh, to repeat endpoint or a connector is uh, an external system uh, that we communicate with. Uh, for, uh, as you can see, uh, the external system is also represented uh, by a lifeline. And uh, in order to communicate with the external system, we have this uh, concept called actions. So the difference uh, with the action statement is that you have a, a, a communication uh, arrows uh, drawn to the particular endpoint uh, that you perform the action with. So as you can see, this is a, a get action that we perform uh, on the endpoint one. So uh, this is uh, how we represent a service. So a service, again, is represented uh, with a frame. And uh, each of the resources that belongs to a service is represented uh, in a frame, uh, which contains inside a service. And uh, uh, you can see, uh, for a service, uh, we always have a service type. So in this case, the type is a HTTP. And we have the transport line uh, going from uh, the type of the service to individual resource. So you can have like multiple resources uh, uh, added to a service. Uh, and this uh, transport lifeline will be connected to each of the uh, resources. And also, uh, uh, if you get a service, you can have uh, service level variables uh, inside the service. And that's represented uh, on the top box. And also, if you, you can have service level connectors. And if we look at the resource, uh, it's again uh, quite similar to a function. And you can uh, have like all the elements of a function uh, inside the service, like uh, multiple workers and connectors uh, drawn uh, inside them. And uh, this is uh, how we represent a struct uh, uh, in a ballerina program. So basically, it's uh, a set of uh, type and uh, identifier uh, pairs. And also, you can have a default value uh, for a, a struct. So uh, this is uh, how we uh, represent the, the program construct at the moment. So one difference with uh, uh, textual, uh, textual syntax is like this uh, graphical syntax, we can keep on improving and uh, 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 make it better in order for someone to understand it uh, quite easily. OK, uh, so let's uh, go into the composer. So uh, what is composer? Composer is a uh, editor. Uh, that uh, we develop uh, to help a user to edit a ballerina program uh, graphically and textually. So it's important to highlight again, uh, the composer, uh, the primary motivation is to support both aspects, not just the, uh, the graphical side of it. So the composer is, uh, we, we are developing it uh, like uh, to support the uh, textual uh, editing capabilities uh, also. So uh, how to get it? So uh, Composer is uh, shipped with the Ballerina tools distribution. So if you go into the Ballerina site, uh, that has like two artifacts that you can download. One is the Ballerina runtime, uh, which is used to uh, use in uh, production environments to host your programs. And we have this uh, tools distribution with all the the command line tools and composer, uh, which is targeted uh, for developers. So basically, uh, once you uh, run the composer command inside the tools distribution, uh, we will uh, uh, start a service. Uh, so this is the default port uh, that the uh, web server get uh, activated. And then you can uh, go into the uh, browser and uh, activate the composer. Uh, so this is uh, how the composer looks like. Uh, so unfortunately, the top and uh, left side is a bit cropped. So you have the file menu on top. 
and also uh, you have a toolbar. Uh, some important uh, tools are the run and debug icons, uh, which you can use to instantly uh, to uh, run a ballerina program or debug it. And also on the left hand side, we have the uh, activity bar, which uh, can activate the file explorer uh, and the debug debugger console. So once you start it, uh, you would uh, get some samples. Uh, you can uh, try out uh, with the samples to play around. Okay, so uh, let's uh, talk about the high level uh, components of the composer. So uh, mainly there are like uh, two uh, user engaging aspects, uh, like the graphical editor and the textual editor. So they sit uh, side by side. Uh, uh, and also, uh, we have a special uh, tool called Transformer, uh, which you can use for data mapping and transformation activities. So that's, uh, again, a part of the graphical uh, editing experience. And also, we have uh, two uh, uh, features, uh, language server and debugger and the launchers. So those are like cross-cutting uh, features that uh, support uh, both graphical editing experience and the textual editing experience. So for example, uh, you can debug uh, a ballerina program graphically and also uh, textually. So this is what the uh, graphical editor uh, looks like. So uh, the, the main components are you can see uh, a toolbar, uh, uh, tool palette uh, on your left. And then you have the uh, a drawing board, uh, the editing area uh, in the main window. So the idea is you can uh, drag and drop uh, uh, tools uh, from uh, the tool palette and uh, draw a picture. So basically what you're doing is uh, generating the uh, ballerina program. And uh, the tool palette is kind of like a code snippet. Uh, when you drag and drop, so it uh, generally con contributes to uh, building the program. And also, uh, on the right hand side bottom, you can see uh, two buttons. So one is a source view and a split view. So if you want, you can uh, switch uh, to source view uh, and see the textual representation of the program that you create graphically. So uh, this is the, uh, so uh, on your uh, right, you can see the tool palette. So tool palette, uh, uh, first you can find the construct. So basically constructs are divided into three sections, uh, services and main. Uh, so if you look at the uh, services and main, so those are the main uh, entry points uh, to your program. Uh, where the program execution uh, getting started. And also then you have the top level constructs uh, like functions, structs, which you can uh, add in uh, to the program. And also you have the uh, statements uh, like uh, block statements uh, and other statements which you can use to uh, fill up the, uh, the programming logic. And also there's a section called current package. So that lists uh, all the the functions and the, the connectors that you define inside your prog own program. So you can uh, like uh, invoke those functions and use the connections in, uh, in your own program. And also we have uh, two sections called connectors and library. So in the, uh, the first view, it uh, generally uh, shows the imported connectors and library. Uh, uh, and then if you go in, you can get the full list of connectors and libraries uh, that are available in the distribution. So this is like uh, helps you to easily find the functionality of the libraries and the connectors and uh, helps you to easily add them uh, into your program. So uh, this is the uh, textual editor. So once you switch to the textual editor, uh, you would get this. Uh, as you can see, it's a normal uh, text uh, editing experience. Uh, 
uh, that you can find. The important thing is like you can switch uh, between these two uh, at any time. Uh, only, only concern is uh, so if the the syntax is incorrect in the textual side, uh, we don't allow you to uh, switch to graphical side because we can't draw the picture uh, if the program is uh, uh, syntactically incorrect. And also, uh, you can go into a, a split view mode. So this will help you to uh, initially helps you to. Uh, get grasp of the language, like you can uh, drag in tools and see uh, uh, how the source code is generated and how it is generated. So this would be an uh, interesting view for you to uh, learn the language. And also like uh, Asis mentioned, uh, we have a special uh, swagger view. So if you open up a, a editing a service, uh, so there is a special button in there. Once you click that, you would go into the uh, Swagger editor uh, inside the composer and you can uh, type your uh, contract here, API contract here. Uh, and once you switch back to the design view, uh, all the uh, additional resources and uh, information that you add to the Swagger view will be automatically generated into the program. So it is bit different uh, from other approaches like, uh, so if you look at uh, Swagger code gen, uh, so basically it generates a stub uh, of the program. But here uh, we directly uh, change the program itself, uh, not the stub, uh, uh, once you uh, change the, the API contract. And also the next uh, tool is the transformer. So basically this uh, helps you to do uh, data transformations uh, to map from, uh, 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 from a uh, source uh, data to a target data. So you can basically uh, uh, connect uh, the dots uh, between source and targets and also you can uh, use functions uh, and operators uh, uh, from the tool palette in order to uh, do the transformation. And one thing to notice like uh, once you have split view here, it is uh, like we found it lot easier to do the, do the transformations like uh, for immediate stuff you can uh, draw arrows uh, from uh, left to right and for difficult ones you can directly go into the source view uh, and edit it. Okay, so the, the next feature that we have is uh, the language server. So basically a uh, language server uh, is a, uh, so there is a concept called a language server protocol. So uh, that protocol is uh, defined to support uh, intelligence uh, uh, for editors. So basically uh, uh, it is uh, introduced by Microsoft, uh, so if you can if you know about VS Code, the JavaScript uh, intelligence is supported through a JavaScript language server. So basically for Ballerina also, uh, we have uh, written a language server uh, to support uh, uh, code completion uh, and uh, we also support like uh, code snippets. So basically via the language server, uh, we give like suggestions for in scope variables, functions. Uh, connect actions and keywords, so it is quite easy uh, for you to uh, write your own, uh, write the program. And uh, then we have the launcher, so basically uh, on the tool, uh, toolbar, uh, there is an icon to uh, run the program, once you click it, uh, uh, it will uh, run the program uh, that you have. Uh, open. So if it is a main program, it will run and print the output on the console uh, seen in the bottom and if it is a service, it will start the service and inform you uh, uh, about uh, the service has started. And uh, then we have this uh, trite uh, tool built in uh, 
to the composer, you can click try it and go to the uh, try it console and invoke your service. So, the idea is like uh, to give a complete experience uh, when developing a program, so you do not have to switch between tools uh, to test out an integration scenario. And uh, then if you want, uh, you can use uh, the debugger uh, to uh, debug the program. So, as you can see, uh, this is like debugging in, uh, in the graphical way. So, you have, uh, so in this example, the execution has uh, stopped at uh, the second statement and you can see the variables uh, uh, which uh, comes into the, the service. And if you are in the textual view, uh, you will get the normal uh, debugging experience that you uh, experience with other languages uh, like uh, Java. Uh, so, if you want to try out Composer, we also uh, have it uh, on the cloud. So, the idea is uh, Composer will be eventually uh, supported, uh, will be presented on the cloud as well. So, you can directly uh, go and uh, edit your programs. Uh, so, uh, if you go into our cloud, uh, integration cloud, uh, you will be, uh, you will find the composer running there. So, uh, the future, uh, immediate future uh, plan is like, uh, we are planning to implement the full uh, spec of the language server. So, with that, uh, we can support uh, other editors as well, like uh, VS Code Eclipse. Uh, uh, so, the idea is like uh, not to force people into using the composer. So, idea is to improve the tool chain so that uh, people can use their own editors uh, to write uh, Ballerina programs. So, this is uh, something that we have uh, planned immediately uh, to do in the future. And also, uh, we'll be introducing uh, tools uh, for special integration scenarios. For example, for data integration, uh, we can uh, uh, introduce uh, 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 tools to support that. So, those stuff uh, we are looking into. And also, uh, we are planning to uh, ship Composer on top of Electron. So, it will be like a better user experience where you can just uh, click and run it and also to provide uh, updates uh, uh, seamlessly uh, to the Composer. So, uh, Composer, uh, the code uh, currently you can uh, find uh, on GitHub. So, please uh, come and have a look and if you have issues, uh, you can uh, report that. And also, you can find uh, more info on uh, ballerinalang.org. And uh, as you can see, Composer is uh, built on top of uh, web-based technologies. So, that is why we can support both uh, uh, desktop and the cloud uh, environments. And uh, so, the technologies behind this, we use uh, React.js uh, heavily for the UI and we use uh, Webpack uh, uh, JavaScript uh, tools to bundle uh, the Composer. And also, the back end is uh, written in uh, uh, Java. And uh, also, one thing to notice like the, the uh, in the text editor, uh, uh, syntax errors and uh, semantic errors uh, uh, are highlighted. So, for all that, we use the actual Ballerina compiler to all that work. So, uh, all the, the errors that you get is the uh, same as the compiler errors. Uh, that you get when you run the program. So, yeah, uh, thank you. Any questions? Okay. 
uh, yes, so uh, if uh, uh, I think like in the next sessions we might dive into uh, XML more. So uh, XML namespaces is supported uh, by the language itself. Um, so uh, basically Ballerina knows about that. So the idea is uh, then once you, uh, uh, you can map an XML uh, with a struct to say that this XML in, in this format. So once you map that, then you can use the transformer in order to uh, do the, uh, the transformation. Uh, yes, I'm not sure we'll do like whether the transform uh, the transformation examples, but certainly like uh, if you come to tomorrow buff session, uh, we can show you some uh, examples. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.